become important in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Holy Spirit. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Good morning, Father. I hope we all had a wonderful day yesterday. We thank God. It was great for me and my brothers and friends. And we thank God for everything as we bless His name. At this Mass, we pray for Walter and Laverne Petro. We pray for my benefactors and benefactresses, and for all those who have asked that I remember them at Masses and prayers, and God in His mercy may bless and accept our offerings as He hears our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we are sinners and in need of God's grace. Let us therefore be sorry for the times we've sinned against God and man, and ask God for his pardon and peace. We raise the dead to life in the spirit, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of our adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, 
and from all the distress he saved him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. The Lord is the Lord. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Come, children, hear me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord, which of you desires life and takes delight in prosperous days. Never give up. 
that route of loneliness is where he loves so much because of you he wants to meet you he wants to transform your life he wants to grant you liberation he wants to better your life he wants to bring you that joy that no one can give that is God himself When you look at the first reading, it reminds me of what the psalmist says, not the psalm of today. He says, in prosperity, man lacks wisdom. When Sarah was in distress, she brought Hagar, her slave, because she wanted a son. And she said to her husband, Sleep with my slave and let us have a son. And Abraham agreed and they had a son. But within that period, God visited Abraham and granted him a son to Isaac. When Isaac came up, Sarah forgot the gratefulness. Of when the child grew up, she, they began to play together. Her own rightful son and the son of the slave girl. Who was equally her own son? But she said to herself, This is not my son. This one is my son. She began to make that disparity. She created that large gulf. She forgave, she forgot the, 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 the joy that the boy gave at his own birth through the slave lady. And she went to her husband. This boy should not share and cannot share in the inheritance, in our blessings. Put him away. The same person who begged the mother, the same person who begged the slave girl for a favor, and she granted it. God blessed her, put her away. Sometimes in our lives, my brothers and sisters, we make judgments and decisions not based on love. We make decisions not based on Christian principles. But you see, when it is your time, it is your time. When God has blessed you, he has blessed you. The pronouncement God has made on you, he has made on you. No one will take away. Hagar obediently left with the, with, the, with, the, with the boy. And when things became so tough, their water finished, their food finished, she dropped the boy and went far away to watch the boy die of thirst, of starvation, and let the sun scourge him to death. But the Lord said, no. When I bless, I do not take back. My blessing does not depend on human thinking or understanding. Just as he met the two men, and the devil in them spoke out, What have you come to do with us? We know you are a loving God. We know you are a just God. We know you love your children. And we know you hate us because we are evil. You hate whatever is evil. Please, let us go into the swines. Let us be in the pits and we shall be fine. Liberation of God. So also God came to the help of Ishmael and told Agar, relax. I have my plans for him. I have blessed him and his blessings will accompany him to the end of life. My brothers and sisters, when things get tough, the tough gets going only in the Lord. Not with our own human strength, but only in the Lord. Depend on Him. Trust in Him. The Lord hears the cries of the poor. Have you ever cried to Him? If you have, and you think He has not heard, keep crying. That road less traveled, He will travel on it, and He will meet you. He met Ishmael and he brought joy to Hagar. He met the two demoniacs 
and he brought restoration to them. He will meet you. He will bring you joy. He will meet you. He will restore your hope. He will meet you. He will tell others that on you is my arm and blessings. We pray that the Lord may meet us and revive our hopes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May we in faith bring our needs to the Lord. All the leaders of the church, may they be ministers of healing and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All the leaders of nations, may they be sources of justice and peace for all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of peace, may it be granted to all in peril of war, violence and fear throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All ministers of the gospel, may they be strengthened and guided in the fulfillment of the ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of life, sacred from the moment of conception to that of natural death, a God-given right, may we always give thanks. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, may Jesus welcome them to eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, our Father, in your mercy, listen to our prayers, made in faith. Look deep down within us, O oh Lord, and uproot whatever that is evil in us. See the good intentions of our hearts. In your mercy, spoken and unspoken, and grant us what we ask you, as we bring them to you in faith, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to earth, of which earth has given our human hands and faith. May it become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this right to offer fruit of the final work of human hands. May it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased to the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and a contrite heart. May the Lord wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours May be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For I am the good of all His holy church. Amen. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so, it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray.
by sending down your spirit upon them like a new form, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Archbishop, Chelsea's Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph and Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Saints, St. Paul, St. Patrick, St. Francis, St. Ignatius, St. Anthony, St. Sisters, St. Cornelius, St. Elizabeth, St. Cecilia, St. Agatha, St. Martha, St. Lucy, St. Joseph Bakita, St. Anne Beaupre, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we memory to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We join our hearts. Let us call God Father in the words that Jesus gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. For the peace and joy and healing of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Now let us share a kind of peace with each other.
Lamp of God, take away the sins of the world. Bless your heart. My brothers and sisters, look at him, the Lord Jesus Christ, who goes on the route less traveled by men, but he goes on it for our salvation and liberation. He takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those of us called to this supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am ready that you should have done in my room, but I'll listen to the word and my soul shall be healed. And the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring us to eternal life. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless, guide, and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you, Father.